Hello, David Zritsky for the Bond Experience. Even the shirt says it. Welcome back. All right, today we're here to talk about something I wasn't sure that I would even be talking about. So it's a little bit of a confessional. So quite a bit ago, there was an announcement around a new collaboration to celebrate No Time to Die. It was uh, Adidas, or Adidas, depending on how you pronounce it, and 007. Now, if you remember, um, Adidas was used in Skyfall. It was the Gazelle 2s. You remember him wearing it. We all went out. We bought a pair. We've worn them. Fantastic. And Adidas and I go way back to my childhood, probably many of yours. So it's a very, it's a very nostalgic brand, just like Bond is a nostalgic brand. But I have a confession that when I first heard about this collaboration and started to see the images of the of the different shoes that came out and the ultra boost and things like that and some of the track wear i don't know i just i i, I couldn't get too excited about it and i just there was something about it and and listen it's it's the time of a pandemic i've worn workout outfits during the day when i'm working and i'm not on calls i wear them when i work out so it's not that i don't wear these type of things that you see here. It's just that the tie-in with Bond just to me was a little bit overt. It was it was like a giant billboard, if you will, and then a tracksuit to boot. And to me, I can't imagine Bond in a quote-unquote tracksuit. I know, I know. Skyfall, David, I get it. But I mean, there he was recouping, it was behind the scene, he wasn't going out in the wild. So for me to wear a tracksuit with James Bond out in the wild was it just seemed like a bridge too far. But, you know, I get a box filled with Adidas stuff and I feel compelled to review it. Now, here's the thing, this could go either way. And I don't know how it's going to go. You could see it's still in its crunchy bags. I haven't looked at the stuff, I haven't tried it on. I could suddenly see the light. Ah, oh, this is what they were trying to do, I get it. And many of you have purchased these things, I understand it. Or it could go the different way. It could go the way of like, oh, yeah, this doesn't. So this is this could be an exciting one. So let's begin. First of all, a um, couple things that they sent. This first one is the black multi-sport pants. It's a size medium. So they, I got my sizes right. But this is um, a simple track pant. And I will hold it up. As you can see. Um, let's kind of tuck this in. So this is kind of cool. They, they actually put a piece of plastic over the area where the emblem is so it doesn't get all scratched up when it's shipping. But this is a, it looks almost like a brass or a gold. It may be picking up as silver on the camera, but trust me, it's a black or a brass. And it's, it is what it is. It's a, a kind of a track pant. It tends to you can see it's almost, it, well, it does have the three Adidas nostalgic stripes in black that kind of blend in. It almost looks like a tuxedo pant. Can you see that? It almost looks like a tuxedo pant. And it does obviously taper. And it's got these uh, zip pockets, which I do like. That is really good when you're working out. It's got kind of a mesh here, a little techno. It almost looks like, um, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Disney's Tron. Remember Disney's Tron? The, the remake of it. It almost looks like pants from there. This is cool on the little cord. It's got the same colored brass. Back is pretty plain. Uh, no back pocket, which is kind of surprising. And the waistband, it's a stretchy. So I can, uh, you know, go to the uh, Golden Corral buffet and eat all I want and wear these. They're going to be comfortable. But we are going to try them on. But not yet. Not yet. So they also sent a, uh, the track top, and I believe this is the Spectre one. Now there was a couple. There was a 007 one. There was, um, it was a white one. There was a hoodie. It was a whole bunch. This one is the Spectre in a size medium. And just as a reminder, I know I do this maybe too much. Uh, 41, 30, 31, just to show you size. I'm starting to put back on the muscle that I lost in the fall of last year, uh, putting in more protein, putting in more workouts, etc. So this is a size medium. Uh, this should work for my particular size, but let's show off the jacket first. So it's got a regular 
collar on it. See, it's got a point collar. And it has on the sleeves the nostalgic Adidas three stripes. On the back, not the most subtle thing in the world, <laughs> white against black. It's got the uh, Adidas logo and 007 to show the collab. But again, this is not supposed to be subtle. And then on the front, blending in with the jacket, blending in in quotes, is the Spectre logo. And it's shiny. It feels like a, a, like a vinyl. So it is shiny, so it will reflect and stand out. Uh, let's try this on. So again, this is, uh, this, ooh, I have a feeling it's going to be too big. I don't know. Let's see. Not that I'm trying to wear the shrink wrapped, but you know, they said that this would fit kind of a 39 to a 41. I, I can already tell this is going to be like so baggy on me. Yeah. This is not how I wear my stuff. Um, mm, mm -mm, no bueno. Uh, so first of all, this is like a, a size too big. This is like a tent. So their sizing is, is off. I would definitely take a small in this, but, um, here it is. Here's the jacket. And, um, you can see the stripes. It's a little long for me. You know, I'm not a tall drink of water, but it's a little long. So I'm not finding it very complimentary. Let's get up and close. This is not, this is not subtle at all. This is pretty big, but just the arms, they, they fit they're so big uh, and, and I don't know, would a small make it a little less trash baggy right now? Um, and it's weird. The, the lines, they, they kind of go from like the back of the shoulder as opposed to the top. So they don't really look military. They just look kind of like, like I'm going to do that like squirrel, like gliding thing that you see people do in between mountains. Like, you know, I'm going to hit a mountain. I'm going to hit a tree. It like, looks like one of those things. Good Lord. Yeah. Pockets are strange. So the, you've got these pockets right here, which feel very, I'm sorry, they just, they feel awkward. They should be maybe a little bit lower. And then you've got these side pockets, which they're like a part of the outer pocket. It's a very strange structure. The collar's fine. I mean, how are they going to mess that up? But just the whole thing in general is just, wow, just swimming in it absolutely swimming. So yeah, it's the wrong size, but, um, it, it's going to be hard for me to see if I would like this or not. By the way, here's the back of it. There's that very subtle white against. All right. That, that's fine. Listen, this is all about experimentation. You know, things aren't going to be all knocked out of the park, but clearly this next one is going to be too big, but I'm still going to, I'm still going to open it and try it on. So here we go. And again, it covered this logo. So this was, this was kind of an interesting one. This one was a strange one to people and they've got all the sizes left, which makes me believe God, this thing is just a monster size wise. The logo, I'm like, I know it's the Saffin one, but that's not the whirly bird. That's not the thing they fly into. What is that? And it was, it took Remert from James Bond lifestyle to tell me what exactly this is. It's, it's, we have a picture with Saffin's like the overhead view of his garden. This is the poison garden, um, logo. So maybe that's his logo on other things. And you can kind of correct me in, uh, in the comments as I know you're not shy and you will do. So let us try on this. This is like a light gray. So this has a different collar, has that kind of cadet collar. It's a very soft collar. Kind of like it better than the other one, at least for, for what it is. <laughs> hey, Adidas, I needed a small. Your sizing is so off. I mean, seriously, they, they said that it would fit a, I think it was like a 39 to a 40 or 38 to a 40. People, come on. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe the people wearing these it's hard to tell, but look at the size on this. Please, if you're my size, do not get a size medium. Get, if you like this, if you like this, get a size small. All right, so again, this is really long. I like, like my sweat stuff to hit a little bit higher. My waist, by the way, is right here, so this is long. So maybe it'll give you a little bit extra protection. Oh, that is just... 
it's so unflattering. Anyway, um, <laughs> so here we have kind of side pockets that are a little bit more usable than that other one because they are a little bit, they feel a little bit more natural. And then you've got these pockets right here. Uh, just doesn't seem very intuitive. So here's that pocket that goes in the top to drop. It's an additional pocket and there's probably one on this side. So there's lots of pocket spaces to hold your tissues <laughs> and stuff. But um, again, the sleeves come to the back as opposed to the top. And I guess that is, I'm sure, I'm sure people in the know are saying right now, David, that is the Adidas look. It's not supposed to go to the top. That's, that's just kind of how it is. It's supposed to be like always in motion. But to me, I'm just not digging it. Hmm. So here's the back. And again, we're here to the front. So we'll get up and close. You could see the logo here. You could see the color. Um, it's fine. I mean, the color's fine. And even the structure of this one, I do like better than that black one, which had this kind of strange sleeves and, and pockets going on. But uh, fit-wise, this, this one gets pretty low grade pretty low mark. And the inside is, it's, you know, it's unfinished. It's not the most comfortable thing. Not that I need everything lined. It does have a nice little loop and it's got a little saying. It says, I am sport game day or any day. It's exactly what Bond would say. Come on, people. Just go the out of distance and put your little Bond quote in there. All right. So this is kind of what everybody was freaking about in a positive way. So this is the Ultra Boost this is uh, James Bond Ultra Boost. It is a US 9 UK 8.5. And, and it's got the cool Adidas 007. Nice packaging. It's got the No Time to Die on there. The one thing I'm going to say is if you're a collector, you see these abrasions on the box. Literally, um, Adidas sent this to me. No packaging around this. It was this floating in a big cardboard box, just smacking around. So if you're a collector, just be wary of that. I don't know if anything could be done about that, but um, I would try to do something. It's kind of an interesting inside color to that. So we'll put that down. And it's got, um, have not opened this yet. All right, here we go, here we go. No time to die on the front, nice. Like the packaging, consistent with the other things. And oh, oh. so we've got some 007 wrapping paper. And here is the Ultra Boost. Now this is the, um, there were there were all these different types of Ultra Boost that were out there. There were the Tuxedo and the Q Branch, and um, I think there was even like a Saffron one. This is the uh, plain one, if you will. So this is, you could see inside the Adidas 007, kind of a cool colorway on the inside. I'm, I don't think it's Bond related, but this this is kind of what turned me off to begin with. It's that I mean, obviously, that is the gun barrel on the front. Happily, 99.5% of the humans out there will not know what this is. They just won't. They won't know what that is. They won't know that that is the gun barrel. So it is pretty subtle. That ain't subtle, but it blends in very well with everything. And it's got these cool soles. It's a very light shoe. Um, the Ultra Boost has really good ratings. It's supposed to be uh, a light shoe. It's supposed to be a comfortable shoe. It's uh, kind of a cross trainer that you can do it for lifting weights or walking or doing a lot of different things. And it's a, it's a fine looking shoe. It's not too kooky. It's got the Adidas on the front. It's got the really cool soles. You can see those there. And uh, what else does this say? Not much, but uh, this is, you know, for running, walking typically, and that's why you've got this lightness. And what it does is, um, what they say it does is it's called ultra boost because it gives you energy. So when you walk and push off, it gives you a kind of like momentum and energy, kind of like James Bond when he's running. Look at that. Look at that action oriented, action oriented. But here's the deal. Unlike um, these pop tents that they call jackets that I received, uh, I believe this will fit well. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to field test this with you. We're going to take this. Uh, it's, it's actually, it's, it's the middle of winter, but today it is about 60 degrees. So I want to get outside anyway, and we are going to take a walk and I'm going to use these and we're going to field test them. And um, 
Well, we'll just talk about them out there. So without continuing ado, let's move it. So just a couple other features that I almost forgot to talk about. Um, as we take a look at this, there's a lot of little details that can be missed. So if you are going to get these, read up on the description. First of all, you've got the uh, the lace ties at the end, the caps have 007, but again, it's pretty subtle. Um, inside that image that I saw inside the box, that is Jamaica. So they say it's a scene right from the movie, but it's, I don't know, it's more of a kind of a painting montage. It's got a guy playing a piano. It's got an olive. I don't, I don't remember seeing that in... Uh, in Jamaica. But the other cool thing that you could miss very easily is on the inside of the sneaker cage, and it's going to be hard to see it, but down in the crevice there, you can see it right there, that is a hidden pocket. It is a hidden James Bond pocket where you can hold money, keys, coins, etc. Um, whatever you feel like you need on your mission. Okay, so for this test drive, quote unquote, <laughs> I'm actually gonna be walking here. Um, I decided, uh, first of all, it's gorgeous out, 60 degrees. I decided to put on the 007 track pants. You can see them right here. Um, they are pretty big. Um, they're pretty big kind of all over. Uh, this is a size medium. Uh, I would probably, I would probably need a small to be quite frank. These are a little, like a little MC hammer on me. Can't touch this, can't touch this, can't touch this, won't touch this. Um, and it's baggy all the way down. So I don't typically wear baggy sweatpants. I like them to be a little bit more fitting. So these are probably gonna be exchanged as well. But for this discussion, let's talk about it because really these are about the shoes. So let's discuss the shoes. Okay, yeah, so from a shoe standpoint, they're incredibly comfortable. I have to say, they are very comfortable. The, um, the cushiness, is that a thing? The cushioning on this is pretty radical. It's very nice. It uh, feels comfortable. It's wide, I've got a pretty wide foot, so it feels the way I would want a sneaker to feel. Uh, the real test is going to be after I walk on them, so let's give it a whirl. What an absolute treat this has been today in the middle of winter to be able to walk like this. So, all right, I gave it a test drive. Not this, the shoes still, yes. And I have to say they were comfortable, very comfortable, very cushy. My feet, I mean, I walked for about an hour and a half, pretty in a brisk way. It gave, it did have that, maybe it was more psychological than anything, energetic push. So the Ultra Boost from a sneaker standpoint, which I always, heard it got high ratings, did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Um, as you can see, the design, the design itself um, is covered up by the laces, so you don't even really see it. Nobody would be looking at you. They could be right on top of you. Nobody's going to look down and go, are those James Bond sneakers? You'd really have to show them off. They'd have to see the back, and it, it, it's not going to happen. They're not going to see it. So, the reality is, is these are still an invisible part of the hobby. I know that they're there, which is kind of fun. Um, the comfort levels there, the energetic nature of a sneaker that I would want is there. So the Ultra Boost 007, I'm giving it like a big thumbs up. The clothing, uh, even when I get my size in, I'll do a follow, quick follow-up video on it. I just don't think it's my cup of tea, the, the things, but I... I I could be wrong when it fits right, but I don't think I'm going to be. It's just not what I would tend to gravitate to when I'm trying to connect to the Bond hobby. I, it, it's too overt. It, I don't like the style of it. I don't like the look of it. Um, yeah, just not buttoned up 
to me. So from a collaboration standpoint, I think this will appeal to a lot of people. Maybe if you like urban wear or that type of athletic wear, great. More power to you. I want to hear about it in the comments. For David Zaritsky, not so much. I'm going to go back to kind of the more, well, the old ways. Sometimes they're the best. I don't know if you heard. Anyway, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.